Today I'm gonna to break down five cinematic gimbal moves that can help you guys take your films to the next level. I'm gonna break down how to achieve each shot, the settings for your gimbal, and different variations to spice up some of these shots. Shot one is a push-in shot. This is a staple for any kind of filmmaking. This shot is great for drawing in your audience and bringing them closer to what's into your frame. Push-in shots are great for building drama and suspense in your scene. To achieve this shot, set your gimbal to lock mode so it doesn't tilt or pan. Then you're gonna wanna start your shot further away from your subject. Hold your camera at eye level and slowly walk toward them. Typically what I like to do is ask my character to give me some sort of movement or action as I'm pushing in to give the scene a little bit more character. But if you really wanna spice this shot up, you can start from a low angle as you're pushing in and tilt your camera up to reveal your character. To achieve this, start your shot a little lower than eye level. As you're pushing in, tilt your camera up so you get that really nice, smooth, dramatic pan into your subject's face. The second shot that we're gonna talk about is a character reveal shot. This is when you focus on your environment and slowly reveal your character into the shot. This is great for showcasing your character in an epic way while still introducing the surrounding environment. To achieve this shot, you're gonna to need to set your gimbal to pan tilt mode. And you're gonna to wanna to start your shot over the right shoulder of your character. Then you're gonna to wanna to pull your camera back and down toward the opposite side of their body as they turn around. And now you got yourself a really creative way to reveal your environment and your character. The next shot that we're gonna talk about is a simple tracking shot. Tracking shots are very important when you wanna follow a character in a scene. This really has the potential to immerse your audience into whatever action your character is taking. Now in order to achieve this shot, what you're gonna to wanna to do is set your gimbal to lock mode and set your subject to the center of the frame and just track your character. Now you could do this from behind them. You could also track them from a side angle and this time keep them in the right third of the frame. And what this does is allow your audience to follow your character throughout the frame. Shot number four is a parallax shot. And a parallax shot is keeping your subject in the center of the frame while you move around them. This could be used to show a sense of wonder in your scene, but this could also be used to show a sense of panic or fear in your character. Now, in order to achieve this, what you're gonna wanna do is set your gimbal to pan follow mode, keep your composition at eye level, and slowly move around your subject while you're trying to keep them in the center of the frame. Now, if you wanna spice this shot up, try shooting it at a lower angle and tilt the camera up. And this is a great way for executing that traditional hero shot that you see in Michael Bay films. Now, shot number five, I don't really have a professional name for it, but what I like to call it is a push-in parallax. This is where you have your character coming toward you in the third of the frame, and while you're passing them, they stop and then you parallax around them. In order to achieve this shot, you're gonna to wanna to put your gimbal on pan follow mode. And then you're gonna to wanna to start your framing with your character in the right third of the frame. As you move toward them and you cross paths with them, when they stop, you're gonna to wanna to start to parallax around them. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this definitely takes some you know, choreographing, some movements between you and your subject, but if you can get it right, it really looks good. And if you guys wanna see the gimbal that I'm using to shoot all of these shots, check out this link right up here. I break down the gimbal that I'm using and how to use it. I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping in and hanging out, and I'll see you guys next week. Deuces.